Okay guys, so I've had like the thrifting bug lately. I've watched a lot of TikToks. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube and I've just been dying to get out here and start searching for deals. I know you guys enjoy this kind of content and excuse me, I know my voice sounds fucked, I'm sick, but let's get to it. Let's check out everything I found on this adventure. First up was a volume of Parasite, uh, volume number two. I did not grab it because I already have the full set. Then I found these sweet Pokemon VHSs and honestly if I had my own home and I was able to collect VHS tapes like I want to, I would have actually bought them. I found two copies of Goosebumps Horrorland as well as some other video games and then the creepiest Ouija board I've ever seen. I got bad vibes in that thing. More VHSs including TMNT in Greece, some classic and newer Goosebumps, plus wrestling figures, the Goosebumps Motherload, unfortunately I didn't need anything and nothing stood out at the time so I did not grab anything, and some newer print Goosebumps. And then this black cat which was just cleaning itself on a pile of clothes. And then the next five to six stops were just Goodwills at this point. Make sure you guys always check the toy section where the puzzles and board games are. You never know, you could find a Goosebumps puzzle or a Goosebumps board game. I found both. In this case, I found Jumanji. Over to the video games, and I found Ratatouille for the Xbox 360. What's even crazier is it had a movie ticket. And whoever bought this game didn't use the ticket to go see the movie. What monsters. Moving on to a different Goodwill, we come across the book section. And look at all those babysitter club. Like... I almost regret not picking it up, I'm sure I could have flipped that entire set. They even had a box set, which like, book collector's dream, but it was for something I didn't need, so I left it. Even more Babysitter's Club. See, I was more of a boxcar children guy myself, but that's just me. But we're looking for YA whore, not YA bore. At another good one, I came across Fairytale 63 and a copy of Slappy World number 6. Left both of those. Went to another good one, started perusing the books, came across a copy of The Twisted Ones, Kinda sucks because I have the Twisted Ones. I wish it was the third book in the series, but either way, what a neat find. My copy's in better condition, so I put this one back for another FNAF fan. While searching this section, though, I did come across the rarest Goosebump book I've ever seen in my entire life. Do you see it yet? If not, don't worry, I'm about to grab it. Yes siree, there it is. Ghost don't get Goosebumps. What's even crazier is I feel like I read this in grade school. Like, I can't prove it, just the cover seems so familiar to me. Another Goodwill and a whole lot of nothing. Well, at first, after a lot of careful searching off camera, because, you know, I always forget to turn it on when I actually do find something, I did find one Goosebumps book. Unfortunately, it wasn't one I needed, nor one that could replace something in my collection, so I tend to leave those behind for someone else to find. I do enjoy capturing it on camera, though. It's a fun little moment to share with you guys. I'm seeing more and more of the Horland books surface at those stores, and then there was a toy base with John Cena on it, but it was hard to tell because you can't see him. Goodwill number five question mark. As for the books, nothing. However, this Goodwill was special because it had a VHS like piece of furniture that had shelves full of VHSs. I guess just a VHS rack. And of course, like I said earlier, I want to start collecting VHSs. I just can't right now. However, if I happen to come across the Goosebumps VHS or one of like the main classic horror titles like Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween, Hellraiser, Nightmare on Elm Street, etc., then of course I'm going to pick them up. I'll make room for them. Funny story, I actually found my personal copy of Nightmare on Elm Street at this Goodwill. And I paid 25 cents for it, and I am proud as hell of that story. If I was collecting, I would actually pick these up. I came across three interesting VHSs. A copy of Madagascar, which it's kind of neat because Madagascar was like right in the beginning of the DVD era. A copy of The Animal, and then a videotape of The Crocodile Hunter. Seeing as I've downsized to a one-bedroom apartment and I no longer have a game room, unfortunately that's not an option, but these were neat finds nonetheless. I then checked out their digital media area, and let me tell you, I was shocked to find PS4 games, but look at the price on these. 20 bucks for Assassin's Creed Unity? Garbage. Even worse, they had Assassin's Creed Syndicate for $29.99. Like, this is insane, Goodwill. Get out of here. GameStop doesn't even charge this. Even this copy of XCOM Enemy Unknown for the PS3 was marked at $8. I don't think that's super unreasonable, but personally, it should have been like $3.99, $4.99 max. Oh, and then here's something you don't find every day. I found a DS game. There was a copy of USA Today. They wanted four bucks for it. I sold off all my DS's, so even if I wanted to collect this, I wouldn't. It's not my kind of game, but there's no room for it in my collection. I left it. I'm not a fan of crossword puzzles, sorry. Then you gotta check out the electronics section. I found a peanut butter maker. I have found Nintendo Wii's there before, so it never hurts to look. Unfortunately, from here, it was just kind of a dry run. The toy section was just pillaged and torn to pieces, so there wasn't anything worth looking at or picking up. After that, the book section was pretty empty as well. 
I checked the mug section just to see, you never know. Sometimes you might get lucky and find like a Halloween Horror Nights or like a Bush Gardens Hollow Scream mug, but unfortunately, nothing of that regard. I did find a Spider-Man mug, but again, I'm not really a mug guy unless it's horror related, so I left that as well. I did find this book from the 90s, but it doesn't fit my collection, so I left it behind. Then I happened to come across the Dog Man unattended by a capital M, which is short for Michigan, I presume. Found this cool nostalgia electronic toaster oven. It's not that old though, so I left it. Same with the ice cream maker. They're cool, but they're just they're remade to look vintage. Came across a nice collection of Wii games. Unfortunately, nothing of value, and I sold all my Wiis, so I left those behind as well. From here, it's just books, books, even more books. And for some reason, I found another copy of Goosebumps Slappy World number six, Ghost of Slappy. I don't know why everyone keeps donating this book. I guess it just wasn't that good. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. From here, I went to check out the board games. I found some kind of interesting ones, but nothing worth my money or time. I don't know if my friends would play these, and... I mean, let's face it, guys. What do you mean, got old? Found a copy of Sonic Heroes for the PS2. Unfortunately, no case means I'm not buying it, but I thought that was pretty neat. And after hours of searching, we come across an Alice Stein book, but unfortunately, it's hit and run, and we have a copy of this, so we left it. But not before I dropped it on the floor like an animal trying to see what print it was. It wasn't a very high printing, and I didn't need it, so I left it. But I did find the Cheerleader. This is part of the Port Horse series. I did buy that. Here's a weird niche DS game I didn't even know was made. Ford Racing 3. I didn't know they made a Ford Racing 1 or 2. And I'm sure you guessed it, it was left behind. Why are there never any good VHSs? Like, whenever you find them, it's always the weird shit. Like, the, the war documentaries and the... The live TV bullshit. While combing the shelves, I found another Point Horror book, April Fools. Definitely picked that one up too. Oh, and I found a copy of Nightmare on Elm Street 4 on DVD. I didn't get it, but I did get this backpack. 